Okay, the name of my company is Four Naturals Incorporated, and my logo is right there on the page. Uh, mission statement Four Naturals Incorporated was founded by Shaniqua R. Martin in February of 2011. It is a company focused on the state and health of African American hair. It is the mission of Four Naturals Incorporated to educate consumers about their hair and provide high quality products to aid in the natural hair journey. And the slogan, the slogan is Love the Natural You. Um, my target audience is Generation Y and Generation X, and that's because the majority of African American women who are deciding to go natural for the first time fit into the age range, and um, most busy women with careers um, fit into the, these two generations, um, and they would invest in a product that would allow them to save time. Um, the purpose of need, my product is um, a silk pillow with built in shea butter. It's called um, the Dream um, Natural Hair Care Pillow. Um, more and more women are beginning to go natural, which means that they're ceasing to get relaxers. Um, and a lot of um, these women, to retain their length, um, they do protective styles plus moisture. And protective styles is just um, making sure that your ends aren't out so your ends don't split. So what the pillow does is, um, when you're asleep, it moisturizes your hair with the shea butter to retain length. And the silk of the pillow prevents your ends from splitting to retain length. And it also makes um, styling here in the morning easier. Um, the competitor's flaws. Um, my competition will be hair wraps, um, hair scarves, silk, silk pillows, and other silk pillowcases. And hair wraps are easily lost, um, but many women forget to put them on before they go to bed. And many women are too tired to put them on before bed. And um, ordinary silk pillowcases protect the hair, but um, they don't moisturize like my product does. Um, these are the projective cells over a five-year um, period. Um, my product will be distributed in four main places, um, Walmart, Kmart, um, Whole Foods Market, and that's only because Whole Foods sells um, a lot of natural hair care products, so my product will be sold along with those products. And um, there's a woman named Kim Love who has her own natural hair company called Love Naturals. And she has a website where she sells a lot of natural hair products, so I will be selling my product along with her products on her website. Um, the cost will be $49.99. Um, if, if you purchase one online, it's free shipping and handling. And that's because um, pillows um, range in price, but the average cost of a silk pillow is about $30. And then plus the cost of moisturizing your hair, so the product is more expensive um, because of the, the pillow's features. And I have a pretty soon, it's just um, a natural hair care flat iron serum. Just in case you do want to flat iron your hair, it's like a spray that protects your hair from heat damage. And then um, my ad isn't, I can show it. It's like only part of it. Okay. All right, I love the idea of it. I really love it. Um, it could be for other hair types, or is it just for... Because shea butter is good on any hair, mm -hmm. like, it can be used on different people. But okay. it's being targeted for people who are going um, natural. Like, natural okay. Hair. Okay. Um, all right. The the logo. My concern with the logo is it's a little bit too much like the other one, the Love Naturals that's on there. So to make it a little bit different, okay, don't put Four Naturals Inc. Whenever you put the number four in there, it's targeting to, it cheapens a product, always. It shows that it's less expensive, and you'll see it mostly for fast food, two, four, one, whenever the food is cheap, okay? So I don't think this product is cheap. I mean, the price I think is very reasonable, but I, I don't think it's a cheap, I think it's a quality product, okay? So, Four Naturals, Inc. This um, should be a word for Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it might be a little bit too wordy, though, still. Like, I get why you put the four, just because it makes it more concise. Maybe natural thing. I feel like that already exists, though. Um, I don't know. Naturals something. Okay. Okay. Um, and I like the font you used for naturals, and I like the line underneath. I would get rid of the heart, and I would have some sort of symbol there with for the pillow. You know who has a great logo? And I just noticed it. Magic Jack. You guys know what Magic Jack is? Have you seen their commercials? They get sold at Best Buy. It's like a uh, a phone 
Jack, that you put in your house and it's like 19, no, it's like $19 a year for unlimited phone calls, local and long distance. Google their logo, Magic Jack, and you'll see what I mean. They've taken the, the end of the Magic Jack and turned it into like a plug for the phone, mm -hmm. you know, which people forget because everyone has cell phones now, forgets what it looks like, but it's, they've incorporated the, a symbol with the word. If you incorporate some sort of symbol with the word natural, so if you took that line, the line that you have, and somehow underneath there, it becomes a pillow in a very simple way. I don't know if you need two lines, maybe it's just one line then, and then it, there's, it, it, there's a pillow that gets drawn underneath. Okay, um, instead of a heart. Okay. All right. Now go to the ad. Right. I mean, I think that I would like to see a woman. Um, yeah, just you know, sleeping and and just it has to be. See, you don't really need to show a technical diagram of how this works. Okay. Because it's, it's self-explanatory and it's believable in, on its own. If you're telling me that it has this, then, then it has this. Um, but you need to find the right image of the woman sleeping and their hair being protected. Explain to me what protective styles are. Um, a protective style is when you wear your hair in a way that your ends are not exposed. Um, because a lot of um, people who go natural, like the main concern is their ends. Because if you can't retain length, if your ends are cute. Oh, I know. My hair used to be down to my elbow, and I, th I stopped using my flat iron because of that. Because yeah, so it kept more, breaking. Yeah. yeah, the more you use protective styles and keep your ends up and tucked away, the longer your hair Interesting. Is. That explains why the hair is so nice in, in India. Because they always wear their hair up. Like, it's right. always... And they put oil on every night. Right. So I got issues with the length of my hair. I mean, I, it used to be so long, and now it's just... I'm so mad. I saw... Did, you, did any of you watch Good Hair? You see yeah. Chris Rock's good hair? After watching that, I just stopped. I will not. I put it away. I will not use the flat iron. Anyways. Yeah, Jasmine. I mean, shea butter, it doesn't have, shea butter has, doesn't have a greasy consistency at all. Like, it's not like a butter. It's like, um, I, I don't know how to explain it. it I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how shea butter is. Yeah. I don't know how shea butter is, but like, I know, like, I don't, I wouldn't want to wake up with something on my face. Okay. I mean, shea butter is good for your skin, too, but, like, it doesn't, like, the shea butter that you might see sold, it's, it's, um, it has ingredients added to it, so it's more like a lotion. But like shea butter in its like rawest form, it's not that greasy. Like shea butter you use on your hair, it's not like a big slab of like. Okay, so it wouldn't like irritate me. Yeah. Okay. She's not gonna break out. Right. Okay. It's good. It's really good for your skin. A lot of people use shea butter to um, soften your skin. Okay. Um, with the pillow, like how do you? Is it like something you got to spray on your pillow every night, or like how long does this shea butter last? I mean. That's what I was gonna ask. How long does this product last? say like just how you replace other pillows that's how you should no you should have a time on it though because you want to keep selling things so you should um, say like, so maybe like a s two month I was gonna say three months yeah three you could say three to six months or something like that but I mean I mean it makes sense that the product would wear off yeah you because you want to make money yeah you know um, maybe four months compromise yeah. and say every four months it needs to be replaced mm -hmm. and that information may need to be put in the ad Okay, and your tagline was, I'm sorry, what was it again? Oh, the slogan for the, um, the company was Love and Natural You, but for the, the, you. Okay. For the pillow, it's called um, the Dream um, Natural Hair Care Pillow, and this, the um, tagline was um, Sleep Peacefully, well, Dream Peacefully, Sleep Naturally. No, um, no, no, keep I, thinking. something like that. The, the, I like the first tagline better. Um, the you you want to make sure the tagline expresses something like this is, taking care of you in your sleep. Mm -hmm. So it should just be... Like something, that, that's something that implies that the person's being taken care of in their sleep. Okay. Or okay. rejuvenate as you sleep or something like that. Oh, okay. Okay? Um, Replenish as you sleep or something, you know, mm -hmm. something along those lines. All right, what could she do for the, um, for the ad? Is a picture of a woman sleeping enough? What else could she do? Give her some ideas for a really clever ad because there's a ton of things you could do with this. What else could she do? Maybe a woman sleeping might be just boring. Maybe if the main concern here is length of hair. Okay, there could be um, two different images of women, one with, um, you know, constantly struggling with hair and having it break, and then one with a natural. Um, 
natural look to the hair and it being a lot longer mm -hmm. as an idea. You know, you could have like two different images, same girl, but two different hairstyles. Oh, okay. Make sure it's not a famous face, mm -hmm. okay? Um, that'd be one way. And then you could have an image of the pillow underneath and sort of like a pillow with the tagline beside it. This is what the pillow did. One way. What else could she do? What else could she show? A diagram of like the hair, like the split ends, and then like a diagram of like after she with the pillow, like the hair without the split ends. That's a good idea because we all women know what split ends are and how, and how we don't want them. You know, that would be a really good idea. Okay, so even if at the top, even if it were the woman sleeping or a split of two women, uh, at the bottom you could have the diagram of the hair follicles. Okay, explaining what split ends are and, and how it prevents healthy hair growth. Okay, all right, good. Any other suggestions? I'm not going to give everybody else ideas. You're supposed to. We're, we're family. No, we're going to help each other. <laughs> with my all, right. all right, hold on. That's it? All right, let's clap. Yay.